How can we change the case of text in Excel? So for example, switch from lowercase to uppercase, so we have everything in all caps, or clean up mixed case text, so it's either all lower, upper, or proper case. I'm gonna show you three different ways of getting this done. Each has its own advantages, depending on the situation. So first, let's take a look at the formula version. I have here a list of names. Some are lower, some are upper, some are a hot mess. What I wanna do here is to convert them all first to uppercase. The formula is really simple. You just have to type in upper, put in the cell reference where your text is sitting on, close bracket, press enter, and you get everything in uppercase letters. Now, if you don't want the formula in there, right? If you just wanna convert them to values, you can just control C, so copy and then paste specialist values, or just highlight the area, right mouse click on your range, pull it to the side and push it back, let go, and then select copy here as values only, right? So this way you take away the formula that's behind this. For lowercase, very simple, just type in lower, click on the cell that has your text and send it down. Everything is in lowercase letters. Proper case, guess what the formula is? It's proper, close bracket and send down, right? And there is one thing I notice here is that James Villard seems to have an extra space in there. So when I click here, it has two spaces. There is a way you can get rid of all extra spaces, whether it's in the middle, before, or after. So if we take a look at Gary Miller, right after R, there is also an extra space. The way you can get rid of it is to use the trim function, trim. So just remember, you wanna trim your hair, you wanna trim something, that trims the additional spaces as well. James Willard looks good. There is no additional space in there. And if I wanted to turn this into proper case, I can either trim the proper format of this, or I can just trim it first and then put the proper formula in there and then send this down. Another option you have is to use flash fill. This is good for cases that you don't need to be dynamic. So basically for one-time fixes, all you need to do is type in one or two sample data and Excel is gonna look for a pattern. Once it recognizes that pattern, it's gonna apply the pattern to the remaining cells. So in this case, I just typed in the first one. I'm gonna highlight the area I wanted to apply flash fill to and then press Control E. You can also get to it by going to the Home tab and selecting Flash Fill from here. So in this case, it did recognize everything pretty good. So let's see if Flash Fill can also get rid of this space. Let me just add an extra space in here to see if it works. Now this is static, right? So anytime you make changes here, it's not gonna pull through. You actually have to repeat Flash Fill. What I'm gonna do is now for the second case, type in again James Willard, but without the space. And I wanna see if Flashville is gonna recognize this pattern and take away that additional space here as well. So we're gonna highlight this area, shortcut key, control E. It did, it did recognize it and it removed that extra space. Now let's try this quickly for lowercase. It figured something out, but it's again giving me that extra space in there. The rest looks good. So let's say I don't want that extra space. Now I'm gonna apply flash fill to this and it looks like it's figured it out. Proper case, it worked as well. Flash fill can come in super handy for these type of changes. Just double check your data because it does work pretty well. It is highly reliable, but of course there can be times that it doesn't recognize a pattern and it makes mistakes. Now let's take a look at another situation. What about page titles? Let's say you wanna have your page titles always in uppercase and you don't wanna worry about how you actually input them. What you can do is to use a font that's by default uppercase. So it doesn't even have a lowercase version. And if you look here in your fonts, you might find a few that are in uppercase. And you're gonna notice them if you see it listed here as uppercase only. It means that there's only an uppercase version of that font. Now, I put some of the ones I saw in my office version here, 
but you're not restricted to what you have in Office. There are a lot of great fonts that are available that you can download and a lot of them are for free. So I've put some of the font websites that I've used in the past here. Now, if you click on one of these and go to the website, now this is dafont.com or dafont.com. Here you can download a lot of fonts, but just be careful on their usage. So here it says like this one is free for personal use, free for personal use. Let's just switch to top fonts here. So this one is public domain and take a look at the font. It's all caps, right? So all you have to do is click on download and then just run this. And then by default, it's going to install it for all of your office applications, not just Excel, but everything else. And then when you're in Excel, you click on your fonts, you should be able to find it here. So that one was Bebas Noye and it's right here. So whatever you type, whether you type in lowercase, uppercase, mixed case, doesn't matter. It's always going to show it to you as uppercase. So if I say KPI report, notice that I'm typing it in lowercase, but I'm seeing it as uppercase. Okay. So you can use these type of fonts as your titles. Now, sometimes it's difficult to scroll through this huge list to find the font that you're looking for. So one hint is to use cell styles for that. Here you have a list of default styles that Excel has for you. What you can do is to customize them for your own needs. So for example, this heading one, let's just right mouse click on it and modify it. Then just click on format and then decide what type of format you want to have. So for this one, I want it to be the Bebas Noye that I just imported. I want it to be a bit bigger, regular. So I can also change that border that it had before. So instead of the blue, I want it to be gray and okay. And okay. So right now, let's say I'm going to add a title here, my new fonts, and I want to apply that cell style. I go here. It's my new heading one and I can see my new fonts here. Okay. So don't forget that you can use this if you want all caps without formulas, just use a font that fits best to your report. Okay. So that's it for today. I hope you like this video. If you did give it a thumbs up and if you want to become more advanced in Excel, if you want to improve your Excel knowledge, consider subscribing to this channel.